Last week I introduced you to the Apple TV, and this week I'm going to show you some tips on how to deal with video content for your Apple TV. First, the negatives. If you're buying video content from the iTunes store, it's essentially encoded for your iPod at 640 by 480 and will not contain a 5.1 soundtrack. In fact, there's a variety of difficulties that make surround sound audio problematic for the Apple TV at this point, so hopefully this will be addressed in subsequent updates. Now, the Apple TV is fully capable of decoding video up to 720p, so although your Apple TV should play anything that is encoded for your iPod, your iPod can't necessarily play files that have been encoded to take advantage of your Apple TV's maximum resolution. In terms of format, Apple TV has the same constraints as your iPod, meaning H.264 and MPEG-4 files only. Thankfully, there have already been a slew of hacks for the Apple TV, including hard drive upgrades, access to the USB port, and someone who's even claimed to have juice running on their Apple TV, which is great. But the most promising hacks are those that use Parian to add DivX, FLV, AVI, XVID, and other video format compatibility, along with flip for macs Windows Media components for WMV files. These hacks aren't for the faint of heart right now, but they do bring some hope that there will be decent workarounds for other file formats in the future. But for now, you're stuck with H.264 and MPEG-4. As I mentioned last time, you can use QuickTime's Export to Apple TV feature, or for much faster transcoding, try Visual Hub's Apple TV Export to encode content, including DVDs, at an Apple TV optimized 720p resolution. Of course, you can also use any program you've previously used where you can transcode files for playing on the iPod, although these won't be at maximum resolution. In terms of additional content, now's the time to take a really good look at the iTunes Store podcast section, as this is where Apple TV really shines. I think that the Apple TV will be for video podcasts what the iPod was for audio podcasts. However, Apple has yet to embrace this by breaking down their podcast offerings in terms of video podcasts and audio podcasts separately. So, you know, radio programs are different than TV programs. Audio podcasts are different than video podcasts. Apple, please fix this. But as it stands now, you can still go to the iTunes store, go to podcasts, and scroll down to featured video podcast section. And this will have podcasts for comedy, sports, tech, news, TV and film, animated, music, and lots of different other video podcasts. But there's still no easy way to see just the video podcasts available generally. So again, Apple, fix this. <laughs> if you're not convinced that video podcasts are going to offer you much in the way of viewing content, check out the best of YouTube video podcasts for a wide selection of the hit YouTube video clips delivered direct to your Apple TV. Or if you want some news, well, Discovery, CNN, BBC, ABC, NBC, The Washington Post, and much more have video podcasts that you can subscribe to through the iTunes store. If you want a little lighter side of things, classic animation video podcasts or vintage tune casts and other screen cartoon classics. There's also the Comedy Central stand-up, National Geographic shorts, the man show clips, and lots more in addition to the reams of great tech and other shows on there already. Before I go, I want to mention one more thing. Apple TV displays artwork for any of your videos as you browse through them, which is great to just get a quick cue as to what the video file does contain. However, it's not always apparent how iTunes chooses this frame, and sometimes it's just not a very descriptive frame. Maybe it's a black screen or, or the intro credits or whatever else. So, if you're not happy with the default artwork chosen for your video, all you have to do is go into iTunes, play the video, stop it at the frame you want to use as your artwork, right click or control click, and select set as poster frame, and this will permanently change the artwork to the frame you've selected. That's all for this week. I'm Jeff MacArthur. Enjoy.